Hello everyone. This story came from Global Strangeness and Captain Scott gave us permission to narrate this in our channel. He might also send us a story per week, so make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be updated with stories that he's gonna be sending us. Let's start. The Boss Jens Bridge In western North Carolina, seats 75 feet high, Boss Jens Train Bridge. It was constructed 1858 and crosses the Third Creek of West Statesville, North Carolina. At 3 o'clock in the morning on August 27, 1891, the train on its way to Danville jumped the track and fell into the creek. Most of the people on the train were asleep because the accident happened past midnight, but the wreck would result in the death of 23 people and injured the rest. Two of the passengers that escaped the wreck were able to go into town and get the authorities to help. There is no sure reason why the train derailed, but it is thought that it's a mixture of heavy rains with rotten trusses that caused the track to spread apart. It was never proven, but there was a $10,000 reward for information leading to catching people who might have removed the wood from the track prior to the accident. The first ghost story for the bridge didn't happen until 50 years after the crash in 1941. The story starts off with a man and a woman driving near the bridge when the tire popped. The man walked into town to get help and his wife sat with the car. After sitting there for a while, she heard a train coming down the track and as it got closer, she watched as it passed the bridge, but then, the train derailed and fell into the creek. The woman ran to the side of the ledge and watched as an older wooden train was burning in the river. She could see the passengers, some were dead and some that were screaming in agony. She heard a car driving on the road, so she ran over to get help, and it was her husband and the local mechanic of the town. She frantically brought the two men to the side of the bridge explaining what happened. But when they got there, the burning train was no longer there and the creek was silent. Thinking that she had just fallen asleep and dreamt of the scenario, the two men fixed the car and they were off. On the car ride to their house, the woman pleaded with her husband to stop with the local train station and ask the staff there. When they got there, she asked the man at the ticket booth if there had been any accident that happened that night. He said, no, there were no accidents tonight, but funny you should ask. There was an accident on that bridge exactly 50 years ago tonight. Stories continue to be spread in the town of Statesville, North Carolina today of people claiming to have seen the ghost train ride the bridge to its fate. But that would not be the last life that the bridge would take. On August 27, 2010, a group of 12 amateur paranormal investigators waited for the train on the tracks of the bridge. At 2.47 a.m., they saw a light headed up the rail toward them. As it got closer, they realized that it wasn't a ghost train, but instead a real train. But by the time they realized that, not all of them were able to get off the tracks. Two were injured and 29-year-old Christopher Kaiser was able to push his girlfriend off the track to safety and tell her one more time that he loved her before he was hit by the train. <laughs> 